how to give yourself hormone shots. This video will teach you how to give a subcutaneous injection of hormones, also called a sub-Q injection, that is given into the layer of tissue just below the skin. Gather your supplies. Begin by gathering your supplies. This may include a sharp spin or puncture-proof container, a band-aid, gauze or cotton ball, two or more alcohol wipes, one for the top of the vial and one for your injection site, a 25 gauge needle that is 5 eighths of an inch long. The gauge is how thick the needle is. Your provider may discuss other needle options depending on your needs. Here is how to find the gauge or thickness and length of your needle. One milliliter syringe. Do not use larger syringes, such as a three milliliter or an insulin syringe. This measures in other units because they will not be accurate for the dose you need. Injectable hormones, both testosterone and estrogen, are thick liquids because they are mixed in oil. Please contact your clinic if you are unable to get any of these items. There are a couple of different ways to get supplies for your injections. Send us a message or call if you need help with this. Check your dose. Check the dose, the concentration of medicine, and expiration date when you pick up your medicine and again before each injection. There should be no solids floating in the medicine and the medicine should be stored at room temperature out of direct sunlight. Make a clean workspace. Always make sure your hands and the place of the injection are clean before you begin. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer. Wipe down your work surface with a household cleaner. Prepare your dose. If your 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle and 1 milliliter syringe are separate, remove them from the sterile packaging and connect them. Do not uncap the needle. There are two different types of connections for syringes. A lure lock that twists into the needle connection, or a slip tip that you simply push together. Both are okay to use. Your needle and syringe may also come as one unit. Either way is okay, just make sure the needle size is correct. First, draw up the same amount of air into the syringe as the dose you will inject. The same amount of air needs to go into the vial as comes out of it, otherwise the vial becomes a vacuum and nothing will come out. Read the syringe when it is at eye level to make sure you're drawing the right amount of air or medicine. We are using 0.1 milliliters as our example. Your dose may be different, Please refer to your prescription from the pharmacy to confirm your dose. If your vial is new, remove the plastic cap from the top. The cap does not go back on. Using an alcohol wipe, clean the top of your vial for 15 seconds. Then let it dry for 15 seconds. This is also part of the cleaning process. Needle safety. The easiest way to not poke yourself accidentally is to keep the cap on the needle as much as possible and uncap and recap in safe ways. Use the rainbow method for sharp safety when taking the cap off of the needle. Hold your syringe like a pencil horizontally in front of you with one hand, and hold the cap near the end of the cap and pull out in an arc like a rainbow. Now that the needle is uncapped, hold the vial steady on your surface and insert the needle straight down into the medicine through the rubber part of the cap. Push the air into the vial. Holding the vial in one hand and the syringe in your other, turn the vial upside down. Look to make sure the tip of the needle is in the medicine and pull back on the plunger to draw up your dose. These medicines are thick and go slowly into the syringe through the thin needle. There is no rush. Pull back evenly on the plunger to pull the medicine into the syringe. Remove any of the air bubbles by tapping the side of the syringe. It is okay if a few small air bubbles remain. We want to get rid of the large air bubbles at the top of the syringe so push up on the plunger to push the air bubble and the extra medicine back into the vial. Measure the medication to your dose. 
Flip the vial and syringe back over and place the vial on a steady surface. Then pull the needle straight out. Carefully recap the needle by putting the cap on a steady surface and slide the needle into the cap with your other hand well out of the way. Once the needle is covered, you can use your other hand to push the cap fully on again. Your dose is now ready to inject. Choose your injection site. You will want to rotate your injection site from one injection to the next. Set a reminder in your phone when it is your shot day and which site and side you will give the injection. There are two areas to choose from on your body, your thighs or your stomach area. For injecting into your thighs, you have a big muscle running along the top of your thigh. You want to go to the outside of that, in the upper, outer part of the thigh. Choose a site where you can pinch one inch of skin. Placing your foot flat on the floor helps relax this area. If you use your stomach area, remember to stay one inch away from your belly button and avoid your waistline to prevent irritation. Use the area where you can pinch one inch of skin. Giving the injection. Clean the injection site with a new alcohol wipe. Let it dry before injecting. Fan it gently to check that the area is dry. Do not touch or blow on the area after it is clean. Hold the syringe like a pencil. Keep your fingers away from the needle and make sure that you have an easy way to put your finger on the plunger once you insert the needle. Depending on the recommendations from your care team, you will either insert the needle into the injection site at a 45 degree or a 90 degree angle. This is a 45 degree angle. This is a 90 degree angle. Remember to breathe. You may now insert your needle fully and quickly into the skin. Then press down on the plunger to inject the full dose into your injection site. The medicine is thick, so push in at a steady pace. Once the medication is fully injected, unpinch the skin and take the needle out quickly. Apply gentle pressure with a gauze or a cotton ball for about 10 seconds. Do not recap the needle. Put the needle and syringe directly into a sharps or puncture proof container. If needed, put a band-aid over the injection site. It is normal to have a small amount of blood or medicine that comes out of the injection site right after the injection. When you are done, put away your supplies and wash your hands. Tips for giving injections. Tip one, many vials are multi-use meaning they have multiple doses and will sometimes have an amount too small to give a full dose at the end of the vial. When drawing the very last bit from the vial, you will need to insert the needle just barely past the rubber membrane while the vial is upside down. It is okay to take part of your dose from one vial as best you can and get the rest of your dose from a new vial if you have another. Tip two, make sure the alcohol is completely dry before giving the injection. If it is still wet, the injection will sting when you give it. Tip three, you can massage the area before cleaning it to decrease pain. Another option to decrease pain is to ice for one to two minutes before giving the injection and for three to five minutes after giving the injection. Never place cold packs directly on the skin. Wrap cold packs with a t-shirt or towel before placing on the skin. This protects the skin from getting an injury from the cold. Tip four, create a routine around your injections. Do something that calms you, like listening to music, having a show on in the background, giving yourself a reward afterwards, reminding yourself why you are doing these injections. Deep breathing can also be helpful to calm yourself. Do the in-poke part of the injection on a breath out. If you have questions about how to give your injection, if you're having trouble getting the correct supplies, or are experiencing anxiety that is making it difficult to take your medicine, please contact your clinic for more help.